All right, guys, welcome to another vlog. Okay, all right, this is what we're gonna do because I am roasting out here in the sun. Even when I'm in the bus, it doesn't matter where I am. Um, it's just really, really bad. So, the portable AC, we have an 8,000 portable AC. I think it just got beat up. Um, you know, it was in the van that we had prior to it. It fell over a couple times. Uh, has quite a few bumps and bruises. And I just don't think it's as efficient. Plus that hose, that whole hose thing is a nightmare. Um, it puts out a ton of heat and it falls out of the window. I'm just, I'm over it. So I went to Walmart. Now, mind you, we are on a budget, guys. Like a really tight budget because, let me step away from this uh, generator a little bit. Because I am trying to, uh, you know, get the bus. I have to drop the bus off on Monday to get looked at. And I don't know, a tune-up, it looks like it's gonna be costing quite a bit of money, plus the battery thing, so I'm, I'm trying not to spend a lot of money. I do not have like a ton of money in savings. Uh, we're already wearing everything down. So, um, I bought a 5,000, a brand new 5,000 BTU air conditioner. Uh, it's supposed to cool up to like, let me see what this says, hold on. From 100 to 150 square feet, which is more than this is. And now, I know this isn't insulated, as well as it could be, so, but I'm hoping it'll really keep up. So I bought a sheet of plywood and we're gonna cut this out. These back windows are 31 inches by 31 inches. So I'm gonna cut a, a perfect square of 31 by 31. And then from over here, we're gonna cut out the AC notch. It's gonna slide right in there and it should hold it. Now, I don't want it to be permanent right now. One, because uh, I'm just not a fan of how it looks. They look so ghetto and, and ugly, you know, when you see the back end of, an, end of an AC popping out a window on a vehicle. But at this point, it's like, I just, I don't care. I need to be comfortable when I'm working or when I'm doing whatever. So we're gonna get started. I bought a brand new Bauer 20 volt jigsaw today. I have a couple of their other tools. I bought that that mini chainsaw and I bought their um, uh, their drill, 20 volt drill. So 18, uh, no, it is a 20 volt drill. So, sorry. Um, so all their batteries are interchangeable, so I didn't have to go out and buy another battery. Because these batteries, this big boy battery, this is a 5 amp hour battery, this thing's like 60 bucks. So if I don't have to keep buying different batteries for different tools, um, I'm going to try to do that. And then while I was at Harbor Freight, because that's who makes power, uh, they had a open box jigsaw tool set. So I don't need a million different you know, ones, I just need it for this for right now. So there's two missing, and this was originally like six or seven bucks. Um, oh, the original price is actually 550. I paid four dollars. That's fine. I, if I can save some money, you know, that's fine with me. So we are going to. Uh, I'm going to measure this um, square, 31 by 31, cut it up, and then we'll put it in the window, guys. I, I hope it cools it down. So give me a little bit, and I'll get back to you guys. I'll show you what we're doing. All right, guys. So we did the hard part. Well, the hardest part. Not that it's hard. But we just cut that piece out, so now we have our window frame. So this is a 31 by 31 inch. And I measured our um, air conditioner. I put it on here and I traced the outline. I did both of the up lines. Now I just have to drill two holes. That way I can fit the uh, jigsaw blade in here. We'll cross it and then we should be good to go on this piece of wood. All right, guys. <laughs> Say hello to our new window. <laughs> I mean, we still have the other window hanging. It, it kind of like hangs out on an angle. I'll show you guys after. But man, this AC is nice and cold. And the, the nice thing about it is that, but unlike this one, this just blows straight out. There used to be a directional thing, but as you can see, it's kind of broken in there. This one, you know, we can point the air right towards here or right towards over here, you know. And whatever you're doing, you'll be nice and cool. It's already cooling down here. Now, it is getting towards the nighttime. The sun is setting. But this definitely feels like it's going to be more comfortable than, uh, you know, th we this one. We have the AC there because you got to worry about the hose. Yeah. So, and we, you have to drain it because if you just that was an, it, Oh, my God. That stupid draining thing was so it's annoying. It's humid here. So, you're going to be... Um, if you plug it, you're going to be... I'm plugging it and draining it at least every 30 minutes, 20 or 30 minutes. Yeah. And that it, gets, well, that's not, we're not exaggerating. No, that, that's that is it. legit. Like every 20, 30 minutes, it's bad. Like so. we had a, a garbage pail behind it and we were letting it just drain into that. And it would fill it 20, within an hour. The no, whole not bucket. Even. No? 20 minutes, I had to dump it because it got full quick. Yeah, we don't want to like over, let it overflow. So yeah. we were getting like nervous about it. 
but this is nice this will drip outside the heat goes right outside um, we are going to work on a permanent um, foam insulation thing Sam came up with a good idea to the real okay what's Sam tell you so this comes with it so if you buy an AC it has this very thin foam but I like this one it's thick Watch and it's hand. from um, Walmart it's like 250 bucks how so, much I mean two dollars and fifty cents sorry <laughs> So I'm going to I'm going to make a slit in the middle and then I'm going to let it sit on it so that way behind here and in in front of here is covered. It's sealed. Yeah. As you can see there's still a pretty big gap yeah. over here, but once we get the insulation it'll be good to go. But man, oh that area feels so good. But this is going to have to come down whenever we travel. Yeah. Yeah, I really don't want to take that that window out and then I got to keep it somewhere. Um, you know, especially and all like you a, see is a big piece of wood with an EC sticking out of it. Right. It's an eyesore for us. Yeah, I'm going to take you guys outside now and I'll show you. It doesn't look great, but it's super functional. It works and it's already cooling it down here. I'm very pleased with it. This is a uh, Medea air Which conditioner. Excuse me, you're blocking my light. Um. Excuse me. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, this is a Medea 5000 BTU air conditioner. Um, I follow a shuttle bus conversion Facebook page and this guy said he had one he has no problems I don't know if he's in Florida but it's a whole nother ball game we really have to find shady spots that's yeah. what's not helping us yeah um, plus but, not being insulated but this thing really does work uh, here's the box I'll show you guys so you know it's basic you know there's no remote control it's not digital it's all analog mechanical uh, knobs and everything but man it works and that's all I care about. <laughs> it really is. We isn't. have it right here too, because we have we have a few emergency exit windows. Like we have one right here. You got uh, one right there, and then you got this big back one. But what I like, we're always right here. Like this area is where we're mostly at. So if even if only this half is getting cooled, we're fine with that because this is where we hang out. This general area. Yeah, this mess of an area. Yeah. Don't mind my sheet. It doesn't like to stick. Yeah. To the don't mind this whole area. We had to like move everything around. <laughs> To and uh, to, to keep the AC up, we're gonna get two by fours and like wedge it, because I don't like the I don't like how the clothing thing looks there. Yeah, we this is temporary. So this is I have this and then the uh, and then the towels wedged under there to hold it up so that it drain the water drains out. Oh, I mean I I'm excited to not have to drain it anymore. Yeah, and and honestly, it, you know, she's like, oh, it's gonna get old doing this, but I, I don't know. I, I personally, and for any single female like van lifers or bus lifers i per i can't do this i can't lift the ac up i can't lift the wood up yeah so i wouldn't be able to do this but the only real thing if you are capable of doing it physically is it really is you, you would take the wood off first she'll hold the ac just in place you know i take the wood off and then i pull the ac out and then the window closes right behind it there's two like emergency right you know those red locks and that's it it's done put the ac on the bed um i'm probably gonna get like a tarp and i'll throw the that's just what it is guys I, i'm not gonna sweat you know we just we gotta be comfortable yeah i know it's a little bit of work but uh this is what works for us yeah you know until i can get a mini split you know maybe down the line i will get a mini split that would be great but right now it's just it's not in the cards guys they are i know a lot of you you know recommended getting one or you'll help put it in and i really appreciate the help and, and the support and the uh willingness to help us out but they are the system alone like a good one like an lg or something like that you know you're talking like 700 dollars, 800 dollars just for the mini split that's not you know with all the duct work and installing it and, and maybe fabricating some kind of base or whatever for the condenser outside i mean it's not a small job it's it's a pretty big task and it's definitely not one that i can feel comfortable doing by myself i don't need to be going down the highway and the condenser falls off and kills somebody going through their windshield so um you know for now this is good down the line we'll get something even better so we ordered a new tv stand because that one completely crapped out we we're thinking about getting a couch but then we're like we like watching tv when we sleep so it's like so now i have a hard time sleeping so if i go into the couch and the tv's there if i walk over here that's it i'm up for the rest of the night so we're just gonna keep put the tv stand here and we're gonna fix that area up but then we don't think we're gonna get a couch yeah. and we need to get a new curtain look at that cheese stain yeah it's coming off i gotta I, when i pick Is it, it. Yeah. all right <laughs> all right guys so that's it that's our ac install for tonight i hope you guys are all really doing great and uh hope, I hope you, you guys are enjoying our videos yeah yeah you know there's always something new here this is a 
budget shuttle bus life. And tomorrow we get to check into the hotel. I'm excited for that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys. I'm not excited to pay for it, but I'm excited to be able to go do stuff. Like go to the beach. Or yeah. the beach. I'm excited to let them look at the bus and get it all yeah. squared away. Alright, for the last time, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And not knowing is Samantha! <laughs> they wanna go. I'll see you guys later. Alright, so I forgot to show you guys uh, the outside of what it looks like. So from far away, this is what it looks like. And then there's plenty of ventilation for it in the back. As you can see, there's kind of a gap. And then the water will just drain out over here. And what we like to is that if it rains, the water will just drip right off. Hopefully. If it's Unless windy, we have like a side wind. Yeah, if it's windy, that, then we'll have to figure something out. Yeah. But for right now, I am super grateful. All right. We're going to go run over to Publix. We're going to get a sub. And this is the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs>